everyone, welcome to the August update 2020. I've been connecting in here at the beach today with Gaia to see if she wanted to share anything with you that might give you the heads up of a best way of living each and every month that we're energy connecting in with every month <laughs> and uh, certainly for the rest of this year. So August is, oh my gosh, isn't it amazing already? I mean, I'm actually uh, taping this today on the 7th of August. And already in this week, uh, we've had people who are talking about a very deep, kind of like malaise, kind of like heavy uh, movement type energy, sort of taking a lot of effort just to move about and get out and about. And this, Gaia says, is partially to do with the shock that's through humanity with COVID-19. So if you're going through anything like that, perhaps you'll consider, is this you working off the shock of what the pandemic has brought? So that's one potential and possibility for you. The other thing is, um, I don't know whether you've heard about it, but on the 8th of the 8th every year, um, there's something called the Lion's Gateway. And this is a cosmic gateway. It's like lots of different times of the year you end up with very strong uh, numerical sacred geometry portals of energy. And the eighth of the eighth is one of them. And um, numbers all have a vibrational frequency and essence to them. And so this is where a lot of things like, uh, have you heard of numerology at all? Are you familiar with that? Um, in fact, I love numerology. I really do like the way numbers work. So next week's video is going to be on the basics of introduction to numerology, because there is a way of mapping out what your birth number is and the kind of things and influences that can come from that. Uh, you can also work out what your name value is numerically and the type of energies that will be around you for that. So. That's for next week. But the reason I'm mentioning it is because the portal that's actually here tomorrow, it starts really throughout the most of August. It's sort of like from the 1st to the 23rd. But it's the highlight, if you like, the biggest amount of uh, light from the Sirius type of connection, which is um, advanced beings, advanced civilizations, ways of living in peace and harmony. And the earth gets this unfiltered every single year. And I think a lot of people who are feeling this malaise that I mentioned earlier and this sort of like uh, stagnation really, this stuck energy, this heavy energy, partially I think it is to do with us getting over the shock of what's been happening. But also I think it's because our bodies are the things that are actually needed to anchor in the light. So as we get more of these light type energies, then we need our bodies to be able to uh, facilitate the anchoring into the earth. This is the heaven on earth uh, conduit, which is you and me and all humans. And, <laughs> you know, basically it's, it's fascinating because we're so looked after and protected in that way because if we're not able to handle it, it just means that we feel a bit more tired and we just need to rest or do something kind for ourselves, like come to the beach or go out in nature or do whatever it is you need in order to facilitate that transformation. Because if there's one word that we can use for August, it's transformation. So we are transforming whether we like it or not. And I think it's just really useful to have a few of these heads up so that we can uh, do it with ease, not with a fight and not having to push through energies. The push and the pull and the knowing of which way to go is all over. It's more like feel into what you need on the day or in that moment or half day and meet that need there and then. It's the kindest thing you can do for yourself is meet that need there and then. Take some nice deep breaths. Ah, make your way through it. Enjoy it. But I just wanted to give the heads up because uh, as we're going through this portal tonight and tomorrow, the next day, 
I'd love you, love you, love you to take advantage of this heightened energy and try and align with it. And the best way to align with that is to recognize yourself as the dreamer in your own dream. What sort of life are you dreaming into existence? What sort of life are you dreaming into existence? Place a little bit of time and effort and love into that and sit with that over the next few days and see what comes of it because manifestation is happening a lot faster these days. So yes, yeah, so that's just a heads up because there's lots of different layers we can anchor it up in, in with this month. The other thing is that um, beyond the malaise and beyond the sinking in and the anchoring of all of these light rays that are here, um, the, the biggest call that we've got is to help our own transformation, which means to be clear about what it is, what sort of life we want to live in. It's so easy, you know, to focus on what you don't want, uh, but it's time to come clear now to take responsibility for ourselves and get very very clear about what sort of life you do want and start putting into place some actions because Gaia said really by the end of August we are going to be like we've just made plans to go somewhere on a journey and by the end of August we have packed and we're ready we're standing in um, inside our home still or dwellings we've got our bags by the sides of us and we're about to put our raincoats on and I was like okay raincoats at the end of August here in the UK and she was basically saying that we're ready to travel to the next part of our our existence really so she was saying we're, we're taking our raincoats with us we're taking the cases with us we've got all the experiences in life that we need to confidently walk through that door of the unknown and begin a different sort of journey so she's basically saying woohoo well done everybody we've all got exactly what we need for this next stage going into September for a real big, huge, pivotal change in everyone's lives. So she's just saying, take care of the details now, quietly and gently without pushing in August. Take care of yourselves really well. Follow your intuition, take action on it, do something with it. And then by the end of the month, be ready. Have packed, got your passports, got your funds, got whatever, whatever it is, say you're going on holiday somewhere and you've packed, you're ready, you're at that moment where you can walk through the door, lock up, leave everything that you know as you walk towards an adventure. And what she's saying is, the example of that is, you know, everything packed away in passport is all of the experiences you've had up to date. So nothing is wasted. Nothing. Everything you've experienced is for a reason. It's going to come in useful now. We're going to enter a phase in September for the next three or four months of where we've made the transition and we're putting those into place. So this is your month, guys. Next few days, really, to get really clear on what it is you want. Love yourself as much as you possibly can for that clarity. And then weave yourself through this month. Do it easily. Anything you find that you're resisting, name it, transform it, and go with ease. This is a huge transformation month. Remember, you are transforming into more of what you want from this world. Please take the time to get clear on that. And as the months go on, that'll be much easier for everybody involved. Okay, my loves, any questions on that, let me know. If you put your name next to the question, I'll uh, have a little link in, see if I can give you an answer as we go through this month. It's complicated, complex, tiring, and yet energetic enough to make plans and do something with. The last thing basically she left me with was a fabulous feeling of excitement. It's like it's bubbling up underneath. It's like all these things have been shifted, cleared, moved, transformed. And then there's this 
there's this yummy energy underneath it all that's bubbling away, uh, that's full of excitement, full of adventure, full of amazing things on its way. And it's us to choose if we're going to align with that bubbles of excitement and go for it. I wonder what they'll bring for you. Lots of love, everyone. See you soon. Bye.